New at 11 at a time when local governments are being asked to account for every tax dollar. We have proof of the lasting value of your local firehouse. In Rochester today, after a city man was shot and wounded, he ran to the Hudson Avenue Fire Station for help. Hudson Avenue is one of 15 firehouses around the city. And as Tina Scheibler reports now, it serves as a safe haven for people who live in that neighborhood. Tina? Yeah, Maureen, the Hudson Avenue Firehouse has been there for 100 years. Like all the other firehouses in Rochester, it's more than just a place to store trucks and equipment. Firehouses help keep neighbors safe. You see all these young people getting killed or whatever. I don't see nothing improving. Hope Canales was shocked to hear a 20-year-old man was shot on Hudson Avenue just steps from her front door. What happened next was just another day at work for nearby firefighters. They deal with life-threatening danger firsthand where they work and live. And the captain engine 16 came walking through, said that we have a run out front. So it came out front and we had a person that had been shot. Lieutenant John Whitley and his staff of seven got to work quickly on the shooting victim, doing what they could to stop his bleeding while waiting for the ambulance. Whitley says there are a fair amount of shootings in that neighborhood and many nights firefighters are called into action to help. No engine required. Just about every in the neighborhood is very aware that this is a safe place to come to, and if there's a problem of any sort, our doorbell rings quite a bit. The Hudson Avenue Firehouse has a glass front control room that gives them a bird's eye view. There's help available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's true for every one of the city's 15 firehouses. They also staff one in West Brighton. These days, almost everyone has a cell phone, but for someone who is without a phone at the time of an emergency, they can just pull this outdoor fire alarm on every firehouse in the city. The alarm triggers the nearest crew to respond. The Rochester Fire Department has 94 uniformed men and women on duty around the clock. That's what we're here for. It's a bunch of coiled springs. Police are still investigating the shooting. Whitley is happy he and his crew were there to help. Everybody knows their job and they just do it. Now the Rochester Police Department has a POD or blue light camera at that same intersection. There are over 100 of those cameras in the city that, along with shot spotter technology, alerts the police department to problems even before the 911 call comes in. Tina Shively, News 8. Tina, thanks. The city of Rochester employs 476 firefighters, but critics say the department is stretched thin. There are currently 20 vacancies. The fire department just hired two dozen new recruits in November.